yeah. We couldn't waste together. We rather go and linger on the beach again. Your love's on the set, but you don't wanna see. If we end up just stabbing yeah, in, we probably yeah, try. Yeah. Got my nice you bill, ladies. Take my bags to the <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. It's so open. It used to be out of my mind. You're trying to come up on a short day. We'll give it up some days. But nothing's ever Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. So I know I didn't talk to y'all yesterday, but we had a good time. Uh, Carbon, you know, it's a very hyped restaurant, but I enjoyed it overall. But I don't know. It's hard when you go places like that that are like super hyped and expensive. <laughs> Everything wasn't perfect, but it was good. So no complaints, I guess. But anyway, yeah. Um, so today we are up in Adam. And we're going to go try to get some breakfast and then maybe do some shopping today. So super excited to get out and about. I don't plan on spending much money, but, you know, I can window shop. Vegas has, like, everything we don't have in Tampa. So that is something that I'm looking forward to doing. And I hope I get to smell some fragrances, too, that I have not smelled. So, yeah. So I've just been enjoying the view from the room. And we watched the sun come up this morning because, obviously... Ooh, this light is hitting, okay? <laughs> Obviously, um, the time difference for me is a lot and I already wake up early. So Vegas time, I got up at 5.30, but to me, like that's 8.30 Tampa time. I couldn't stay in the bed any longer. So <laughs> um, hopefully I don't get like worn out by the time tonight comes because we have plans, okay? But anyway, I'll show y'all my view real quick. I might've showed it to y'all yesterday, but I'll show y'all in this little living room area my view. They do need to clean these windows though on the outside. Like, I can see spots. <laughs> but it was beautiful watching the sun come up this morning here. That was the video, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care that you're having fun. I usually right. leave me alone. Exactly. <laughs> Have your fun and leave me out of it. I'm here with these kids. They're getting on my nerves.
last night? Yes. Well, it's a great venue, you know? Yeah. And when the venue is good, it, it, it could make up for a performer not being that great. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but that is says, true. Everyone says the show is great. Yeah. I like how intimate it was. Hey, y'all. So I am back home. Today is Friday. It's nighttime. I've been recovering basically all day. <laughs> I got back super, super late last night, so I didn't get to my house until I think around 1 a.m., maybe slightly after. But anyway, I'm back. I had a great time. I know I didn't talk to y'all much throughout most of this vlog, but, you know, I was in the moment. I didn't vlog everything, but I pulled my phone out and recorded some stuff when I could to share with y'all, and hopefully that's good enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was just living in the moment, enjoying it, living it up for the few hours that we were there, like the few days we were there, and having a good time with my friends. So anyway, I did buy a couple things. I don't even think I took y'all any in any shops with me, but we did walk through a bunch of shops but i don't really like to record in those like fancy schmancy stores anyway because i don't know i feel like they look at you funny or there's not enough people in there to distract <laughs> so it feels funny like whipping out my phone to record or if i had my camera but i was just using my phone anyway i had a great time um before i show you all the few things that i purchased i did want to let you guys know what package i got from the usher concert because I felt like when we were looking at tickets, that was the only package that was left. And so I was a little bit confused on what it included. So just really brief, we got the Ultimate Confessions package that came with a suite at, you could pick from I think Bellagio or Aria or MGM maybe, I don't know, but we picked Aria. So we had a penthouse suite. Um, which was huge. <laughs> Unfortunately, they only had one with a king size bed, so we had to share a bed, but it's all good. Both of us sleep basically the same way, like in one spot the entire night, don't move. So we have plenty, <laughs> we have plenty of space. And that's like my good, good friend. So no worries there. But um, yeah, it was really nice. Um, also where our seats were, we were like kind of, we were sitting at a table. So we had cocktail service throughout the show and then um usher actually at part of the show came and was like literally right next to me so when y'all see him really close he was literally like right next to me he bumped into me <laughs> he bumped into me so i touched usher y'all <laughs> like his sweat like probably got on me that's how close we were <laughs> so we were literally right next to the dj um and the seats were good like i feel like mgm where they do this show it's such like an intimate experience. I feel like you can't really have bad seats, but I didn't realize beforehand that he was gonna walk by us or be performing up there because I tried not to watch any footage from the show prior to going because uh, I didn't want it to be spoiled. So anyway, it was amazing. We also got VIP access to the club like the after party, which I wasn't really checking for, but since we had it, I was like, let's just go see what this includes. So we went over there and um, we were able, we got a table, but it was shared. So that wasn't really that nice. Um, and then we got like one bottle of alcohol and whatever chasers you want, which it was just me and her. So <laughs> that bottle of alcohol, most of it was still at the club when we left. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was fun. And the DJ at the after party was really good too. Like he was really playing all the hits from my generation. <laughs> so I was loving it. It also included transfers from the airport and back to the airport for me and her and we flew separately so that was nice because <laughs> we actually had like a driver we didn't have to uber it wasn't a shuttle i expected it to be like a like van <laughs> but no it was my own personal car so it made me feel very fancy <laughs> but yeah it was it was a good time so anyway i did pick up a couple things and i was going to show you all the fragrances that i wore on my trip because i meant to share that with y'all i didn't share no outfits or nothing but here we are <laughs> <laughs> so I only took two fragrances with me. So for daytime and for airport use, I took Tom for a white suede. I'm sorry, the lighting is not very good right now, but I didn't feel like turning on my studio lights. So yeah, this is what I wore during the day. And this is a musky, suede scent, but it's quite transparent, very easy to wear. It kind of just have this smoky vibe. 
but it doesn't smell too smoky in my opinion. I actually find this like quite addictive and you can see I've put, put like a pretty good dent in this bottle. I only got it earlier this year, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I um, wore this during the daytime and then at night I wore Smoking Hot by Killian and I just felt like it was an appropriate scent for Vegas <laughs> and it worked out really well. I felt like I made really good choices. I have a video all about this, but this is kind of a hookah type scent. So I believe it's like raspberry or apple hookah. And um, yeah, I think it smells like apple and hookah and a little bit of, and, and some smokiness and kind of smells like there's some dried fruits in here as well. I really enjoy this fragrance and I felt like it was like the perfect kind of like bad girl scent. <laughs> so yeah, that was what, those were the two fragrances I took with me. And then I picked up a couple fragrances and one bag. I mean, I wasn't going there to buy a bag, <laughs> but the way this one worked out, I just ended up getting one. So let's see if this is the one I got. Yeah. So. One of the bags I carry in, um, in Las Vegas and we were actually shopping. We were talking about this bag. And I was saying that they had an orange one and I really was like super close to buying it at one point, but I didn't. And um, yeah, so then next thing you know, we walk into Gucci and what do we see? <laughs> the orange one. And as we're looking around, the sales associate comes to us and says, we're having a private sale and all those, uh, those orange and pink bags, any of those models that you see on that table in the, this particular like orange and pink color scheme, um, they're all 30% off. I was like, what? 30% off. <laughs> so I felt like this bag was already kind of reasonably priced for, for luxury. I mean, regular price of this bag, it's tiny. So let's say that, but it is all leather. It does have a chain on its inside, but I feel like relatively it's a decent price. So I think retail, this is $1,400, 30% off. It came out to be less than a thousand dollars. So I was like, boom getting it and my friend she, she was talking about how she liked it too like we were talking about this particular bag and she was saying oh i would like love to see the orange so we both wanted the bag so i let her get it because apparently they only had one however the sales associate was able to locate another one in vegas so we walked to the other one and i was able to get mine too because i was like if they don't have it it's just meant it's not to, meant to be and i already have one so you know i was like you get this one and then if they don't have it then I wasn't supposed to be buying any bags anyway so but like this is perfect orange and gray are school colors like come on so yeah I, I love orange and I don't I have an orange bag I have a Celine Nano but that bag is although it's a Nano I feel like it's kind of it's not big but sometimes it's too big for what I'm doing like if I'm going somewhere at night, just depending on where I'm going, unless I'm going to like dinner or something, I could take that bag to dinner, but it's not a bag I want to take out to like a bar or anything because I love it. And I would hate for it to like get scraped up, get drinks spilled on it or something like that. And so something like this, that's much smaller, I can basically keep this on me. So like when we we're in walking through the casinos and all, we weren't playing, but like when we would stop at bars or sit down somewhere, I literally just had this body, this bag on crossbody and it, I felt very secure with it. So anyway, this is the bag I picked up. And then this little bag was gifted to me by my friend. This was a, a birthday gift. Although my birthday is over, she had ordered a gift for me and it, when it came in, she didn't like it. And so she knew she was seeing me in Vegas. So she brought it there. But this is so cute. It's a Brandon Blackwood like metal. I guess this is a Kendrick, but it's like a smaller one. It's super cute. It has a chain. Uh, of course, this is not for the phone, okay? <laughs> so let me just show you. This is my perfume, right? This is the bag. It's tiny, but I'm here for it. I really wanted to wear it in Vegas, but like I didn't have anything silver accessories. So I, um, I will be wearing it though. Next time I go out somewhere, like at night where I don't need a lot of stuff, I will definitely be wearing it because you can basically fit like keys, a lip gloss, a couple cards in there and that's gonna be that on that so but i love it and i love it even more that it's from her <laughs> um yeah very cute so yeah, that's that and then um i did buy two perfumes so 
my first Chanel bag, like shopping bag. <laughs> uh, we went into Chanel just to look around. Um, we were looking, really looking at bags, um, not to buy, but we don't have a, a full Chanel boutique in my city. So I just wanted to like walk through and see what they had and just, you know, shop, window shop. <laughs> So while we were in there, we went to the beauty section and I was like, oh, I never smell the lay exclusive line. Maybe I'll smell some, but I wasn't really interested. Like I didn't think I would like anything. Little did I know that almost everything I smelled, I could see myself wearing. Like they had a really nice lineup. I was very surprised at the lay exclusive line, the ones you can only get in the boutique. So they had a really nice lineup, really nice sales associate. She wasn't like bothering me as I'm smelling this stuff. Like she was there talking to me, but it wasn't pushy or anything like that. She didn't have to spray every fragrance for me. Like she just let me explore how I wanted to. And there were quite a few that I really, really liked. So I ended up buying one and sales associate was really nice. She gave me a bunch of samples of other ones that I liked. And I already think that one of those is going to make its way to me at some point. <laughs> and then she gave me this larger sample of gardenia as well. But anyway, this is the one that I picked up. Let's open it. So I did buy the smaller of the sizes, which honestly, the big size was a much better price. But I didn't want to get the large bottle. It was just too big. And I didn't want to carry that on the plane with me and all that. So I got the smaller bottle. And it's super cute. And this is Le Lion. So... This was one that I heard about that I wanted to smell, and I love it. I I, I don't know what it smells like right now, y'all. I can't explain it at this moment. I have not worn it, but I'm sure you'll hear more about this in a future video. But right off the bat, just real quick, quick description. Let's say it smells like a, like a saffron rose leather scent and maybe some sandalwood. I could be like dead wrong, y'all, but I really like the way it smells, so picked this up and I was super surprised that I fell for something from Chanel. And then I picked up a fragrance from Celine. And let's open it up. Again, this is my first fragrance from Celine. We do not have a Celine boutique here. So, um, yeah. The sales associates there were very nice as well and they gave me a couple samples. But this is the box that I picked up. And this is the one that I went in there to smell. So this is the one that I thought I was going to want. And I was right. <laughs> and for Celine, they only had the 100 ml size or 200 ml size. They don't have anything smaller. So I got the 100 ml. But I really love the packaging. It's like almost like a tuxedo stripe. <laughs> uh, I love this. Oh, you know what? I was like, this box is so secure. I got I to pull that off. <laughs> So this strap kind of holds it in. Okay, so that was the packaging <laughs> that he put together for me. Sorry, guys. They didn't package it in front of me, so, you know. Anyway, let me open it up now. And these bottles are gorgeous, especially in person because of the detail of, like, the ridges on the bottle. I really love the way this looks. It's simple, but it's classy and different. Anyway, the fragrance that I picked up is Black Tie. And this is a vanilla scent. So this is one that has been on my wish list for a while. But you know, like how many vanillas does one girl need? But because I was in Vegas, I wanted to smell it and I knew I would probably buy this if I liked it or if I really like love the scent of it. And I do, and it is a vanilla scent, um, but it's not a gourmand vanilla. It's more of a dry kind of spicy vanilla, but there was something different about it to me. Now I haven't worn this, um, so that's that. But so far, I am loving the way this smells and I cannot wait to actually like wear this. I'm getting ready to put this stuff away. And so I will be digging into this soon. I also love, I didn't notice it before, but it has the, I think they call it the triumph sign on the top. It's beautiful, y'all. Love it. Anyway, I'm so glad that I had really nice people. All the like sales associates in the stores in Vegas that we went to were very nice. And it's probably because they deal with just basically all tourists. So the, I didn't get that like full, full on snobbish attitude, <laughs> you know, that you can get sometimes. Um, but yeah, it was, it was very nice. All the people were very nice and welcoming. And so I feel like that made the experience better. So I did go into the Dior store. 
not to smell fragrances i was hoping that i would see a bag that i like because i've always heard that dior gives like the best service in store but i didn't see anything i like so you know i wasn't gonna force it but i will be back in vegas for a business trip probably in december and so as long as that pans out i'm sure i'll go in there and look then so we'll see <laughs> I don't need no more bags anyway, y'all. I just wanted to get that Dior service and, you know, have that experience because I usually just buy stuff online because, again, we don't have a Dior boutique here in Tampa. So, anyway, that's it. That's my little haul. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here, but I don't think so because I don't think I have enough footage. So, we'll see. I'll probably see y'all later on in this vlog, but if I don't, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> So I know I just said bye, but I forgot I had this box sit next to me to open that I wanted to open on camera with y'all. It is, it's two boxes, but they're from the same place. One of them I purchased, the other is a free gift. I guess they couldn't put them inside the same box or technically there were two different orders. So I guess that's why, uh, but I'm pretty sure this is what I purchased. So let's open it up. So speaking of Dior, this is from Dior. I know my lighting is bad y'all, but this is where we're at right now. <laughs> and, I think my free gifts are on top. This is a Dior Beauty purchase, but so I got a lot of free gifts with this. So first is this mesh pouch, which is actually a good size. I thought this was going to be smaller, um, but this was free and this is a good size to travel with. I like to usually like pack underwear and stuff in these kind of like mesh um, bags. So I'll probably do that um, with it. And then it also came with this like velvety cosmetic pouch. And again, this is a nice size. I have another like Dior free gift pouch that's a lot smaller than this one. So I really like this. It actually feels really, really good. I'm sure it's not real velvet, but you know, it was free, okay? <laughs> so that's that. I got a sample of Capture Total Le Serum. More samples. So this is a sample of hand cream, which I already have. They sent to me like previously. So I have the full size of this and I really like it. So I'm glad to have this sample. And then a sample of a lipstick, a Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. Okay, this will be the newest version. So I haven't smelled that yet. So I'll be interested to see how that smells. And then Oud Ispahan, which I picked this one out out of their um prive samples because i really like this fragrance on my husband and i have been thinking about getting him a full-size bottle but you know as long as i keep getting these i guess i ain't got to buy one <laughs> plus i'm kind of scared to buy him a bottle because one time he wore this sample to the zoo in the summer like i was like oh my gosh you're giving me a headache and he was like i didn't know i just put something on i'm like oh my gosh like it was so he didn't put on that much but it was way too much because it was super hot that day. It was probably above 90 degrees and we were literally walking around the zoo sweating and I was just like pissed off at him. So anyway, I'm kind of scared to buy him a bottle because he'd be using up stuff rest recklessly, okay? It was very problematic. I was literally mad at him. For that. <laughs> but anyway, you live and you learn. <laughs> And then the real like thing that I wanted for so this is for the more fabulous version of myself. It is a Dior fan. <laughs> like, can you imagine? If I'm on boot, wait, let's, if I can open it, clearly this is not something I'm used to, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, can you imagine on vacation, like photo shoot? <laughs> so yeah. Uh, this was the one that really convinced me that I needed to make this order because I had had this item that I ordered in my cart for a while and I just wasn't sure but that free gift like pushed it over okay <laughs> so this is the item and let's open it up I gotta hurry up but it's this so this is uh, I think it's called the Minadir I can't pronounce it clutch but anyway it comes with lipstick right so this is a beauty item but it looks like an actual purse clutch right and i love the look of this so let me open let's see let me open it this way so it comes with uh three lips or four lipstick or three lipstick refills and i think just a lipstick case i believe oh no three lips get ripped three lipstick refills and then an actual lipstick so this is the actual like one that's in here it's a red Y'all, I'm not even going to show y'all these colors right now because it's 
almost time to um it's almost back time my kids so i'm kind of on a time little crunch here but let me show y'all the real reason that i ordered this okay you can take the case out and this is not like a hack because if you are obviously designed to do this and they kind of did like a super small version of something similar last year but they give you a chain so this is now a clutch so you could fit your lipstick in there like if you have the dior lipstick you can fit your lipstick there and then your other stuff here it is large enough to fit a phone like come on this is a free dior bag well not a free because clearly i paid for it but like for the price of what this was, I felt like it was worth it, okay? Because I love gold. And even the, de look at the details on this. And this, again, and this is a beauty item, but look, it even has a CD as the D-ring. It has a CD on the front. It has Christian Dior Paris on the back. Like, you're not gonna tell me this is not a real bag, okay? I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> I'm carrying this one. Now, sometimes I see people convert their, like, cosmetic bags into bags, and to me, it doesn't work. But sometimes in cases like this, it totally works. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to crossbody and actually I'm not gonna try it on right now, but maybe tomorrow when I actually get dressed and not looking a mess, I'll try it on and show y'all. But this is super cute for a little metal box bag. I have one metal box bag it's already. Like I know, give me just a minute. I have a gold metal box bag already, but this is a different color gold. It has this silver here too. And I just feel like this color gold is going to work with so many things. And honestly, the metal bo the, the gold metal box bag that I have is from Zara. And I love the look of it, but it's kind of annoying to carry because I feel like the class is not extremely secure on it. But this feels like luxury, y'all. <laughs> and then I got my mirror too. I don't even need a compact. <laughs> so yeah this is that girl okay so now i gotta go because my son told me it's time to go upstairs but hopefully i'll um like try this on for y'all later in this video so hopefully i'll see y'all later good morning y'all happy saturday what's wrong hey y'all happy saturday so mom life is back in full set we're going on a little walk this morning. Oh, I'm not sure what else we're going to do. Yeah, they said they're in pajamas, but that's fine. <laughs> it's so quiet out here. And it actually feels like fall outside right now. Now, it gets hot in the afternoon, but like in the mornings, you definitely can feel a difference. So it feels really nice. So, yeah. Anyway, that's what we're doing. <laughs> um not really sure why I turned the camera on but, but we're gonna finish our little walk and then I'll see y'all later this the way you want to go <laughs> yeah it does they did a good job people be doing too much okay too much no I mean with the Halloween decorations I haven't been up my kids wanted to walk past the pond, but I always have to like go check it out before they <laughs> walk over here because I don't want to walk up on no gator. They're usually not over here, but just uh, be sure anywhere there's water in Florida, there could be a gator. All right, come on, y'all. It's fine. Yeah, bird. Kind of cool looking, right? water my little plant baby and look at her drooping <laughs> just have to be going being gone over a couple days it's drooping but it'll lift back up i'm gonna take it outside and water it and leave it in the sun for a couple hours just to give it some more light so yeah this is a um i think it's a peace lily so yeah
sit outside for a little bit. I like to sit them right here because they get enough sun, but it's not like beaming. Um, so yeah, I'll sit here, let them dry. I'll bring them back in this afternoon. Yeah, it's called a scorpion. It's huge though. I've never seen anything that big. The only ones I've seen have been like this big. These are really cool. We might go and look on their website. I really like this one. It almost looks electric, right? See how bright that one is? It's huge, right? Is that real? Is that a real one? Yeah. Oh, it is real, yeah. That is a huge one. But it's really cool, right? That's the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen. First time seeing a cat, the wire got fucked up tiny. Uh-huh.